Okay, Mike, this is for you. We are going to integrate the square root of natural log of x. Yes, we have done the integral of square root of tangent x and the square root of e to the x, all that stuff. And for this one, the answer is actually not elementary, but since you let me use the imaginary error function, so answer will be in that advanced function. So what do I mean? I will show you. Anyway, with that being said, though, we can actually just use the usual technique if you have that new function with you. And the truth is, you have to use integration by parts and the use substitution. And the order is up to you, whichever one you want to do it first. I would just like to do the integration by parts first. Namely, I would use the DI setup, right? So this is not thing crazy, it's just integration by parts. I will be differentiating square root of natural log, and then right here I'll just be integrating 1. And then, of course, when you integrate 1, it's just x. And when you differentiate this guy, the derivative square root is 1 over 2 square root of the inside, which is natural log of x. And the chain rule says what? You have to multiply by the derivative inside, which is 1 over x. So now, with this being done, we actually know the first part of the answer. When you do this, right, when you multiply this, this, and that, that's the first part of the answer. So let's write it down. First, we'll have plus the x times the square root of natural log of x. So that's very nice. And then next, you are going to multiply this row and this, I mean, yeah, this row. And this right here is still an integral along with this sign. Don't forget about that. So we have a minus integral. And when you do this times that, of course, you see that 1 over x and then the x cancel each other out. Right? Just cancel in your head. So we just have this left inside. 1 over 2 square root of natural log of x. And then, of course, this is with the dx. Now, <laughs> this is not anything better than the original, huh? But it's okay, as I told you, we'll be using the u substitution. And if you do u sub first, you know, same thing, you have to do the integration by parts now. But I did integration by parts now, so I have to do the u sub now, right? Anyway, to do u sub right here, just this integral, I will let u equal the square root of natural log of x, right? This is just u sub. And then just do the usual business. I would like to solve for x first, though. Perhaps I'll square both sides, so I get u squared is equal to natural log of x, and then do e to the power on both sides. x is equal to e to the u squared. Ah, this is how we go end up with the imaginary error function. But anyway, continue. Differentiate this so we can get the dx, and first, the derivative e to the u squared is first. Repeat that, right? And then the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative right here, which is 2u, and then don't forget the du right here. And with that being said, we can come back here. This right here, it's the first part of the answer already. You're just going to write it down. x squared root of natural log of x, and then minus, well, we, we still have to do the integral. This is just the integral in the x world. Take this integral to the u world, we have the integral 1 over this 2 stays. And this right here is the u, so I'll put that down. And then dx is this, namely 2u e to the u squared u. So let's just write that down. Very, very nice. Well, how nice is this? Nice enough that the 2u and 2u cancel each other out. And then you have the integral of the u e to the u squared, like this. This is so nice because that's exactly the imaginary error function that I have talked about in the previous in a previous video. So I'll just write this down right here for you guys. So notice if you integrate e to the u squared du, this integral has no elementary answer. But if you use the advanced function called the imaginary error function like this, you can actually get that to be done. Well, the input is still u, but you are going to multiply by a constant multiple, which is square root of pi over 2. Why? Well, check out the video for this. And I'm not going to put on plus c right here because this is just a little side dish. That's my appetite. Well, that's my main dish. <laughs> anyway, we are just going to finish this up real quick. In the end, we see this right here is just x square root of natural log of x. And then minus this right here, it's just that. But u is square root of natural log of x. So I'll just put this down right here for the answer right here, which we have square root of pi over 2. 
and then E R F I. Okay, this is the imaginary error function. That's the name. Just like when you have log L O G, that's the name as well. And then the input is u once again stat. So I just write that down. Square root of L N X. Very nice. Here we put down the plus c. This is like your little uh, dessert, right? And with that being said, we are done. That's it.